crafty cuties. I bet you are excited to make some really cute glassine bags. You can use these as treat bags. You can use them in your junk journals or your December daily albums. You could use them for birthday parties. The ideas are endless. And we are just gonna hop on in. This could not get any simpler. All you need is some wax paper and then anything that you want to decorate these with or you know you can just make plain glassine bags. I cut mine down already and this measures 12 inches by 8 inches and that's going to give us a bag that is about around 6 inches by 7 and a half and I like working with that size because that fits in most of the memory books that I make and that is what I use these for. I also like making another size um, which I'll show you in a moment and then I like to use score tape on this. Now you can try other um, adhesives but I have played around with it a little bit and I find any type of double-sided permanent tape to work the best. So all we are going to do, no measuring once you have your bag cut, and you can even eyeball you know, the size. All you need to do is fold both sides in just until they meet right in the center here. And you can make yours right in the center or to the side, wherever you want your um, seam to be. I am not a perfectionist. You guys already know that if you watch my channel. I don't have time to be a perfectionist and I just go with the flow. And just go ahead and crease both sides. And then we are going to go ahead and use our double sided tape. Now I have tried a tape roller as well and I don't find that the, the tape sticks very well and maybe it's just the tape rollers that I've been using so feel free to play around with that. I'm just going to put one strip of tape at the very edge here. Now you can kind of see this tape right here, which is why I tried some liquid glues, but I found the liquid glue was just not holding very well on this wax paper. So I am totally okay with having this show a little bit. And once you have stuff inside the bag, it's really, it's barely noticeable. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just press that down and take the backing off and then just go ahead and fold this back down. And there are so many ways that you can decorate these. I've been having tons of fun with them. Okay, there we go. So just press that down. I haven't had any issues with these coming apart or anything like that. So then at the bottom, what we are going to do is just fold a little corner up like this. Again, I'm not measuring. This is probably maybe about an inch or so that I am folding this up. Just do same on both sides, and if you're not comfortable with just eyeballing it, you could easily just take a measuring uh, or a, a ruler and kind of mark where you need to fold. And then once you have each corner up, you're just going to fold up like so. And just try to get kind of a clean fold. Now that I know where I need to fold, I'm going to use my double-sided tape again, and I'm going to place two strips one at the bottom here that kind of goes over it goes over the two edges that are folded in and then one at the very edge right here and then i also like to put one piece of tape on the inside here so this little area that opens and that's just preference you really don't have to do that um i don't find that when i don't do it like this comes apart or anything but I just think it looks nicer because it's not like folding up and then go ahead and just take your backings off and this one's a little trickier just because you have to get your hands in here there we go press that down I have been wanting to show you guys this um, DIY for the longest time but November was such a busy month for me I was doing November daily and I was just doing a lot of daily things and, you know, holidays and my, it was my son's birthday. We had all been sick, like just a crazy month. And I'm sure that December is going to be just as busy. And now that you are done, there are many ways that you can go about decorating these or even keeping them plain and you can round the corners. I do like using like these type of craft scissors and going around the top so that it has kind of a jagged edge. 
but I wanted to show you this is the size that we end up with like I said it's about a six inch by seven and a half inch bag I also like making this size that's a little skinnier and I started out with a piece of wax paper that was 10 inches by 8 inches and you can see it's just a little bit skinnier but it does work better for some projects. So now that we have a few bags ready, I'm just going to show you three different ways that I like to decorate. The first one, well these are all easy actually, but first that I will show you is probably one of my favorites and I'm just going to take a strip of paper and a little embellishment that I made here that I also need to be filming a video on and I am going to just go ahead and wrap this around the bag. Very simple so I'm going to use some, <laughs> I barely have any liquid glue left. We'll just go like that. And you could get so creative with this if you are doing your December daily and you have oops, different papers from the collections, you could, you know, make these bags coordinate with that collection. And I think it would be so fun and that's kind of what I'm doing and that's why I came up with this idea because I was finding that I did not have luck with finding very many glassine bags um, this year. Okay, so we're just gonna fold that over and then we'll go ahead and just glue the edges down. And so that's one way. Okay. And if you wanted, you could put some adhesive on the inside of the band. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that, but that would probably be a good idea just to make it, make sure that it stays in place. And I think that's just adorable. So the next one that I was going to show you is going to be a stencil and ink. Now I have also used a stencil and modeling paste and that is such a cool look you guys. You get um, a ton of dimension and texture and I wish I, I gave that one away in someone's smash book. So instead I'm just going to use a stencil and some ink. Now the key on this is to use dye ink. If you use any other type of ink you're probably going to see that there is a lot of smudging happening unless it's like um, archival ink or there's a few other inks but just to be safe I would personally just use dye ink and I have tested this out you do want to set it aside and let it dry for maybe 15 minutes before doing anything else with it um, or you could also use a heat gun so I'm not going to do this perfect I'm just kind of getting some areas and I love this pattern pattern. <laughs> this stencil is a Tim Holtz stencil. I think it's called sweater. Uh, I can't remember. I'll find out in just a sec if, in case you are interested. But this is a really nice look because it definitely looks like it's like part of the bag rather than this one is obviously layered. So this is going to be nice and flat and probably really great for inside of like a junk journal or um, an album. So let's see, let's reveal what we just did. Awesome. Look how cute that is. And just imagine you could do that with all types of colors as well. The next one is the simplest and we are simply going to decorate this with some washi tape. I'm going to use these two skinny rolls that I got from Michaels. And again, you could coordinate this with, you know, any type of theme that you are going for. You could do this for all types of holidays and projects and yeah I think it would be really fun to use this in your projects and even though this was a very simple DIY I do hope that it was fun for you guys and gave you some ideas on how to make your own glassine bags. I was looking to buy my own for a while and they are very expensive on some websites so yeah, this definitely can save you money. I got my wax paper for, oh, I got it at the Dollar Tree. So I spent a dollar on this project basically and then, you know, using my own supplies. So there we go. There is that one too, which is also really cute. And I think that these bags look great by themselves as well. There you
you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I do have many more December daily videos coming for you guys. I didn't get them out as early as I was hoping, but we still have an entire month to to work in our December daily and I hope you will join me. So please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment below telling me if you want to see more DIY videos like this and I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.